In Blazor, we use components quite a bit. In fact, every page in Blazor is technically a component first. A newer feature of Visual Studio allows us to easily drag and drop these components with their required values. Now, for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Now I have created for us the, the basics of this code. I mean, it's, this is a, a basic template. The only thing I really changed was on index. I took off the survey just to make it a little clearer. So over here in counter, this is a component. And it's also a page. So the counter page we can go to directly. However, if we wanted to over here on index, we could say counter. And that would put the com counter component on the index page. But typing that out, yeah, it takes a little bit of extra time when we can just now drag and drop the counter on. Now, this is looks like a big deal. Yeah, it works, but really who cares, right? Because I could have just typed out counter or I kind of expected this to work, but this is a newer feature and it's not just that we can drag and drop the component on. There is an additional component to this. And that is if we have parameters. So if we go over to counter and we say, you know what? I want to have a parameter. And if you're not familiar, parameters allow us to pass values into a component. So I'd say prop and let's say starting value for our, this would be for our counter, right? But what this allows us to do is pass this value in. Notice it has to be public in order to access the, the value. But what if I want to make this required? So that you have to put a value in here when you use this as a component. Well, there's an additional thing right here called editor required. So if you set this up, then whenever you go back over here to the index page and say counter, if I just try to close this out like so, it's going to yell at me and say, actually, I expect a value for starting value. You know, okay, now I need to go to starting value and put a value in here of, of one or whatever. Now I'm not using that value, but just try to show you what a required value would look like. And that's a little bit extra typing. But with our drag and drop components, if I drag counter on, it puts the re editor required value in place and I can just put the value for it. So it's very quick now to drag and drop components on whenever we need them and have the required parameters added by default in the drag and drop process. So that's what's new. I believe it's in uh, 17.5 of Visual Studio and later, um, but that's a new feature that allows us to more quickly work with components in Blazor. Let me know if you try it before, what your thoughts are down in the comments. And thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.